Welcome to the third video in the series on your own local hosting server. Now what we're going to do is install WordPress and it's rather simple. It uh, may seem complex but follow along with me in the videos and we'll make it very simple. First thing you want to do of course is you got to get the WordPress download and we can do that very simply in the folder there should be a resource text file and there is a direct download that you can use to always get the latest version of WordPress they've made it very simple take a look at the actual readme file here called resources and you'll find it in here down direct download so what we'll do is we're going to copy that we're going to enter it into our browser window and hit return and it's going to want to download right off the bat and of course I've already got it downloaded here but download it somewhere that it's easy for you to find uh, create your folders what I always do I've got a, a folder on one of my drives called projects and I'll create me a folder in it and store everything in it for each project it's very easy to locate that way so we've got that downloaded I'm not going to do it again no use in that wished in bandwidth right so what we got to do is, is at this point we need to, to unzip it. And of course if you're using a Windows machine, you've already got uh, an extract all and everything. I'm using 7-Zip, uh, great free program. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to extract it. Yep, I don't want to do that. Let's do it the short, short way here. Let's extract here. Okay, you'll notice that I've got a folder here called WordPress, and inside of that is everything, okay? So what you got to do here is, is, at this point, like I said earlier, you can install as many versions of WordPress as you want, as many times as you want, but you need to call each folder something different. So we're going to uh, rename the folder. I right-click and do a rename, and we'll just do a... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this WP, keep it short, Oop. and I'll do it underscore. I don't use spaces. It really, I mean, you could, but uh, it's going to cause you problems later on. Uh, always use an underscore or a dash. It doesn't matter, one or the other, or don't use anything. Just call it one name. So I'm going to call it uh, WP, how about test bed? How's that? I'm going to rename it. Now here is the other part that you need to pay close attention to. Remember we installed this. I did it on the D but we're working in the C drive. Don't get confused. I'm just giving you, I wanted to show you that you could have it on different drives. That's the main thing. You don't have to install it on your main drive with your Windows. You can actually install it on any that you've got available. So I've got it on my C drive. I've gone into WAMP and you'll always be working in the www folder. Think of that if you're familiar with FTPing to your webs, you know, online like HostGator or whatever. Think of the www as like your public HTML folder. Of course, don't rename this to that. It's got all this has got to stay the same. But just remember, this is the folder where you're going to be putting all of your files. Uh, you can put, you know, if you want to test PHP scripts or whatever the case may be. This is where they'll all go. And as you learn, you can look around in these others, but uh, don't change anything or you're going to break it. And you'll notice I've already got some files in here. I've already got a WordPress install. I've got some uh, HT, or excuse me, some uh, PHP files and such as. And you'll notice I've got WP main. So now we've got WP testbed. I'm going to take this folder. I'm just going to drag it over and copy it over to this folder. Right? Once it's finished, it's there. Now we're not quite ready to use it yet. We've got some more steps to take. Okay, let's get these out of the way. Let's get back over here. Remember, we are working in HTTP, and then we're using localhost. You can type in just plain O localhost and you'll get there also. Remember that's where we're working at. Get back up here 
and now we've got to set up our database right and this is where it differs a lot from your actual online when you install it so we want to set up a database and we're going to be using PHP my admin all right and don't let this confuse you it looks like it may be hard but it's really really simple stay with me here this is where we differ a lot you know that online when you're going to use HostGator or something like that you create a database you gotta do a username and you've got to do all the password and all of that well this is on your uh, local computer and it's not accessible by the outside world so all we're doing is just creating a database name so what we do is you notice I've already got WP main remember I had one called WP main let's just call this one WP testbed that way you always know they're related to your to the actual folder names so all this stays the same nothing else to change we we'll do a create and it was created okay you see that that's good okay so now let's go on back to our local host again and it's easy to do just type in local host and you'll notice that this has now showed up I put a dash and an underscore I wanted you to see the two different ones you can use either one okay so I'll go ahead and, and use a new window here so I can go back and forth and you may want to do the same thing open up your new tab or a, uh, a, a new window you know it's easy to do if you're especially using Firefox just click the little plus sign and get you a new window going on here what we're going to do now that we've got that installed and we've got our database the actual resource file here has a little note here and you can use this you know refer to it as you're watching the videos here you know copy this here and we're going to change of course this folder you created but I'm going to put this in here just so you keeping up with me here the folder that we created right was WP underscore testbed so we're going to change this WP underscore testbed Oop, I got my cap locks on come on all right so now we go directly to that okay and we got an arrow right so what we need to do is is create the configuration file that's the only choice that we have you could do it manually but when I do that when we can click a button so we've got that now I'm gonna go ahead and increase this back up and get our real estate back there so everything we got to do here now is very simple we just want to go forward again remember we didn't have to set up no username or password so this is going to be rather simple let's go all right now the database name remember we set the database name up the same as our folder name WP test bed right and this is going to be blank blank local host right in the table prefix this is actually cool you know if I wanted to I could actually use one database for all of these WordPress installs and you know it would save some work on my machine but I like to keep everything separate because if I want to delete one it's just very simple to delete the whole thing I don't have to worry about trying to clean it out so you know it's totally up to you I recommend that you use a different database for each install you may not want to so local host remember we're working on our local host we're working on the local machine you can leave this just as it is oops I told you wrong here on your username you gotta have that that's a <laughs> that's a norm sorry there got too many things going on here and root is just your default setup okay and that'll be uh, on all of any all the installs that you do in the future you'll be using root this will not change and of course do not use a password there is no password okay that's all correct do a submit uh oh what happened here Let me make sure what did I do unable to 
So there you go. Everybody can make mistakes, right? So me making this mistake, I could say it was on purpose to get you to pay attention. <laughs> Perhaps it's me that needs to pay attention. Uh, I'm sorry. But you see what I did, right? WP dash test bed. All right. That's where I made the mistake. And what I need to do is, is I used an underscore. So little things like this. I guess it's actually good I made the mistake because it's easy for you to make the same one. Just always pay attention. That's the key, right? Pay attention. So what we'll do is, let's go back. Let's start over. So see the underscore there? Let's do a dash. I think that's going to work a lot better. Hey, looky there. Works like a charm, right? So what I should have said was, oh, yeah, I made that mistake on purpose. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead. Uh, all right, Sparky, let's move forward here. Run the install. And this is pretty much now just like you would on any of the manual installs. You want to name your site title. And, of course, I'm going to call this uh, my test bed site. How's that? You can use this to whatever you would like, okay? It can be uh, uh, admin or anything that you want to use. I'm just going to leave it at admin. And again, you're not, you know, you're not actually having to worry about strong passwords or anything here. So just enter in something, of course, that you remember. And uh, I, I will note that uh, if you, you know, some people use this and as you advance along. You can use this same setup to, to make all kinds of niche sites and then transfer them to a live site. So make sure you keep up with your passwords and use something correct all the time, or the same password, I should say, all the time. Okay, got a weak password, so, you know, that's it. Now, what you'll do here is you want to enter in an email address and, you know, enter in normal email address and just see what happens. But remember, we didn't set up email for the server, so doubt you're going to get anything, you know, so. Fat finger today. Okay, so of course you don't have to worry about this because you know we're behind. We're on a local internet, but just go ahead and leave it like it is. So we'll do an install, and I've got a little form filler here that wants me to keep remembering stuff popping up there. Okay, success. We are on our way, man. So there we go. We've got that. And now what we want to do is, is log in and take a look at everything. And it's pretty much the same. Oh, I put the wrong one there. So what we'll do is we'll do our password here that we chose and log in. And there we go. And there is your normal site just like you would see it and there it is okay so we've got it working on our local machine now we want to do a few more things and and play around with it I want to show you a few other little tricks and and such as so I'll see you in the next video